Okay, y'all. So, per usual, I'm going to tag some peeps. Y'all know the deal. Tag your team members. Let me know that you're watching. Talk to me. Let me know that this was helpful. All right, y'all. So people are popping on. Fabulous. Oh, I didn't mean. I never mean to like tag other directors that like aren't in our group that are on our page just because like we get tagged in like a million things and it's super annoying, especially like not saying y'all are super annoying, but like we just get tagged in a lot of stuff. I don't mean to tag y'all. So if I ever tag you and it's a uh, on my team page, it probably was an accident. Okay. All right, y'all. So for this tip Tuesday, I want to share a couple things with you guys on my way home. Okay. All right. Everybody has a problem. Most people have numerous problems, right? But Sensi can be the solution for every single problem somebody has. And if you don't believe and know that, you need to reframe that brain and realize that every single problem that somebody has, Sensi is a solution. Okay? Whether that's with our products or with the opportunity to buy from yourself and get free and half off or the opportunity to completely change your world. And I am here to tell you that since he's going to solve those problems, if you're going to let it. Okay. So professional problem solver is something that you should be trying to accomplish every single day, especially on your social media. I'm not going to go through all the social media things. Chloe and Ray Ray slayed that last week. Go watch it on OG Boss Babe's YouTube channel, okay? But you need to be solving people's problems, not just posting that you have a local order and a six-pack of wax, okay? Everybody does laundry. Are you using our laundry care? Are you sharing that you're using our laundry care? Everybody cleans their kitchen at some point. I mean, they should, right? Are you sharing that we have dish soap and counter clean and the all-purpose cleaner? Are you using it? Because if you're not using it and wondering why you're not selling those things, well, there's your reason. And Scentsy is always going to be known for wax and warmers forever and ever amen everybody likes their house to smell good it just you need to figure out a way to solve that solution for them people have cars right they stink they need to smell better okay I cleaned my car with counter clean on Sunday and sprayed my fabrics with Scentsy Fresh I have a mini fan I have a car bar I have all of these things because I love the product, but also because it's solving my everyday problems. We work for the most amazing company that solves all of life's problems. And you need to believe that. So I want you to become a professional problem solver. When you are sharing that you are changing your wax, why are you changing your wax? Did you cook Mexican last night and so your house smells funky? Are you spraying your bed so that your linens stay fresh and it gives you less anxiety? Are you using washer whiffs on your carpet to freshen them up? Are you 
taking a bath with Scentsy Soak after having a really rough day. Stop trying to sell to people and solve their problems. Because that is what is going to be the end all be all. That's just talking about products. If somebody has a problem of loving Scentsy, but not being able to afford as much as they want, then they should join, get paid back on their own purchases, host their own parties, feed their addiction. That is how I've sponsored a lot of the new people that I've sponsored here recently because I'm offering them the opportunity to buy from themselves. A lot of people didn't know that was an option and that is a solution. And if you're offering that to them now and they say no, that's okay. Circumstances change. And guys, newsflash, Chastity joined this business only to buy from herself. And I retired from teaching, resigned, whatever it is, Courtney. Um, and I joined just to buy from myself. So I don't care why someone originally joins. I didn't think that Sensi would do all of this for me, but it did. So solve people's problems. Maybe somebody's problem is they want friends to do things with. Sensi can solve that problem. Maybe they just need an outlet or something for themselves because they're a stay-at-home mom. Maybe they don't need the money, but they want to do something where they feel like they're valued and like they're providing back to their community. Sensi can solve that. Maybe they need to fundraise for their cheer gym. Sensi can do that. I mean, Sensi can literally solve any problem that someone has, but you have to be out there searching for it and you have to be the solution. They're not going to think about Cincy being the solution to their problem because they're not the consultant. That's not their job. That's our job. Our job is to solve their problems with Cincy. We need to solve the problems that they didn't even know they were having. How many people make their bed and spray their bed with Scentsy Fresh now just because they see people doing it on social media? Chastity, I never made my bed before. I do now. I didn't know that walking into my room, my bedroom with my bed all crazy made me anxious until I kept watching people talk about how it makes you feel less anxious when you walk in there. And it does. Okay, so that's You've got, you've got to just make a list of what type of people that you are trying to speak to. So if you're a mom, you're speaking to other moms. Did your kid shit in the floor yesterday like mine did? Excuse my language. Sure did. Use counter clean to get that up and then some antibacterial because I'm not disgusting. But you've got to solve people's problems and you need to be telling them that that's the problem that you're solving. Not saying, hey, I'm here to solve your problems, but got a stinky mom car? Let me share with you about my mini fan that makes my car smell fabulous, okay? Now, I'm not gonna preach and harp on all the problems, right? Second part of this training, sorry, is I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I just did. As a business owner, as a Sensi consultant, as a good human, most people are thinking about the holidays coming up, right? Just like I told you guys a minute ago about being a professional problem solver. You need to be a professional problem solver in this season. And how do you do that? You have gift bundles. You gift wrap. You make it look pretty. You do the things that take the time that busy moms or busy people or just anybody in general just may not feel like doing. Guys, I'm going to be real with you. I hell hate doing these gift bundles because I'm really bad at tying the ribbon 
it like it it gives me a lot of anxiety to do it just because it's a lot of work and because it's not something that maybe makes me happy I, I am happy when the customers love it and they're so excited and I'm taking something off of their plate but my job as the consultant is to take that off of, of them so I just left the dollar store and if you've been with Scentsy for a while you've probably seen all of the different gift bundles that people do for the holidays I do a lot of the room spray and scent circle combos because they are super easy um, and I've sold out of them every year. Let me also say this. You do not have to have these things on hand ahead of time. Do not go and spend all your money, all your family money, buying Scentsy because you're anticipating gift bundles. You can use the pictures that people share or you can make up a few gift bundles with things that you've gotten for free or half off and market it that way because we can't say that we have these things on hand anyway. Right? Do gift bundles. I just left the dollar store with five bajillion tumbler cups and coffee mugs and Christmas tins and things like that. Now, I can go and spend that money ahead of time because I know that I'm going to sell these things. Even if I don't, it's a dollar. The reason why I go to the dollar store is because it's a dollar and I'm able to do that because I set aside my Scentsy Commission to do that. But when I first started, all I did was room spray and scent circles in a clear cellophane bag with a peppermint tied with a ribbon. Many of you guys on here were my customers before and bought those from me. And I did gift tags. So I did like a gift tag on it where they could write to and from. I sell the heck out of those because it's already wrapped up. No, you can't charge more than what Scentsy tells you that the price is. But as I've grown in my business, now I can buy the mugs and buy the tumblers and do those things. And I can make it easy on my customers. That's going to get me referrals. And in all of these gift bundles, there's obviously going to be my contact information. So, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how many brand new customers I've ever gotten from doing these. Gotten isn't a word. Um, I don't know how many brand new customers I've actually received from doing these gift bundles. But I do them every year and my customers love them. They ask for them. If that's not something that's going to bring you joy, then don't do it. But do not feel like when you see a bunch of these going crazy after Halloween is over that you have to go and buy these things to have on hand. You don't. You don't. Every year, I, like, order things and make them based on what people ask me to order right? And just because you see somebody doing room spray and scent circles, if those, if those things go out of stock or whatever, don't worry about it. Make up your own bundles. Let your customers know that you are going to solve their problems by gift wrapping. Let them know that you can do that. You can advertise that you're gift wrapping. That's not like out of compliance. I'm actually about to pull up to my house, Vive, so I am going to, I'll um, share with you guys really quick some of the stuff that I got once I park. And if you search in Shine Your Light, Vive, you're probably going to be able to find, if you just search gift bundles, you're probably going to be able to find it. I know it sounds really weird like when I'm saying it, but my customers go crazy. So Shannon Ragland, who is on our team, she actually um, 
bought a ton of these from me last year and I sold out of them and I, you couldn't find the tumblers or anything anywhere. So, um, I actually found out that you can order from the dollar store. Yes, you have to order in bulk. So you're going to die when you see how many I have, but, um, you could split it with a teammate and they're a dollar and I shipped it to the store because it shipped there for, whoop, sorry y'all, real life. Um, I shipped it to the store because it shipped there for free. So I don't think she opened these. Um, yes, you have to buy a case when you do it, but guys, split it with a teammate. So I literally get these coffee cups right here and I put a room spray and a scent circle in them. That's it. You can um, wrap them up with cellophane if you wanted to and like put a little bow on it. I may do that as well. Um, I actually probably will do that. I just got to find some bags that I know are going to work. Um, but I did the mugs that these are assorted different mugs. Obviously, they're not like, I mean, they're from the dollar store, but people don't care. I made it easy for them. Um, let me see these tumbler cups. But like I said, you don't have to go spend the money at the dollar store. People are going to be happy with the little bags. I did the bags and I do it. I like advertise it to the bus drivers, to your mail people, to your UPS man for stocking stuffers, for secret Santa. Like think about somebody's going to go, if you have to go buy a secret Santa gift, you usually have a limit. If ask your customers, can you help them with Secret Santa or whatever it is that you guys are doing? Ask them what their limit is and build those bundles for them. So these are the tumblers that I got. Guys, these are a dollar. Look at that. It says Merry and Bright. And I mean, it's just like a little plastic tumbler. So what I'm probably going to do with these is I'm going to just do different things. I really don't even know what's going to fit in it. Um, but when I did these last year, the, the ones that I did actually had like straws and stuff, but you can put some like colorful shred in there, like paper shred or confetti. Get creative. Be you. Don't be me. Be you. But I got these, um, and they had these in the store at the dollar store when I was just there. I just learned that you can order from the dollar store in bulk. Okay. So I did that. Something else I got. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be using these for either, but they were a dollar and they're, I'm sorry, all this is real. I wasn't planning on showing y'all all this right now, but they're clear on the top. So I could put paper shred in there and do whatever the heck I want to do. Not to mention, I'm also buying this stuff because I'm going to do teacher gifts and things like that for my own kids' teachers. And at the dollar store, like, that's where I stock up on stuff like that. Um, let me show you one other thing that I got so that you can... I also, oh, I got these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm telling you, if you do want to get any of this stuff, you probably want to go soon just because you know how people are and it gets gone. Um, but you put some paper shred in there. And guys, anything that I'm doing as a gift, my contact information is in there. I may put like a QR code to enter my free giveaway for filling out their information. Because at the end of the day, I want to bless my customers by making it easy on them, but I also want to hopefully get new customers out of it, right? And so I'm not going to be the one that necessarily has contact with them, but it's not bad for me at the bottom of this, like obviously not where it's out and advertised, but like I'm probably going to do just like a cardstock little QR thing, enter my free giveaway. And guys, it can be a sample pack. It's free. They don't care. But if it's a new person, I'm getting their contact info. And at the end of the day, that's the goal. We always need to be thinking about how we can build our customer base. And so think about all of the people your customers are buying for people that you don't know. 
Will you get somebody from it? Who knows? But it's not going to take me any more time to put that in there. And then I said I wasn't going to show you anything else. One other thing I'm going to show you is I got these from the dollar store says farm fresh Christmas trees. Like I said, I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. But if somebody tells me, hey, I've got, uh, I need you to take care of my $30 secret Santa gift. Hello, cute bin, fill it up with some shred or whatever and bag it up. Or if you have gifts to give, like these just make really great little containers. It looks like you spent a whole lot more than a dollar. And anything that you do spend like this is a business write-off. But listen to me. Listen to Chastity. Do not go and spend family money on Scentsy. Yes, I'm buying these things right now because I know that I have the customer base for it. If you are brand new, do not go and spend a bajillion dollars only go and buy the things to wrap it when you have orders. If somebody orders something from you, then go and buy the things. Do not feel like you need to go and spend all the money. Heidi and Orville tell us that every single time they talk. Do not spend family money on Scentsy. That includes all of this. Your customers will be just as happy with a clear bag and some ribbon and a gift tag. I promise, because you made it easy on them and you solved their problem. I don't know if you guys are the same type of mom or same type of, I, I keep saying mom, but like same type of person as me, like you pull up at the birthday party and your stuff in the present in the bag that you just bought at the Dollar General on the way to the store and there's definitely not a card and all the trash is in the back seat of your car. That's me as a normal person, but as a Sensi consultant, as my own business owner, I can't be that way. And I need to rescue the people like me from having to do that. Okay, so just remember, you don't have to be fancy, but you have the power to solve all the people's problems. You just got to be willing to find them. Love y'all. Have a great day. I hope this was helpful.